It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to the 1876 After Party. The Panthers go to Lamar University and take care of business from start to finish. 54 to 21 is the final score. In fact, the Panthers pitch a shutout in the second half. They had all the answers clicking on all cylinders. Panthers had over 60 offensive plays. 47 of those were run plays. So now the Panthers in position to get ready to take on Bethune-Cookman for the homecoming 2022. And it should be a real good one. And speaking of Bethune-Cookman, Bethune-Cookman was in a shootout with Mississippi Valley. They outlasted the Delta Devils with a final score of 45 to 35. So they were next put on their traveling shoes to come to Texas. The Panthers are going to have to show them some Texas hospitality by taking care of business as they did today and finishing strong. Now, this is a down Lamar team. It's still a Southland opponent. They're 0-6, but the last time these two teams got together was 2012. And they handed the Panthers a 31-0 loss. A little scuffling took place prior to that or during that game. So I know none of the Panthers were around when that took place, but I was, and I do remember. And it's good that the Panthers were able to take care of business today. Still some things that need to be tightened up, and that's part of building programs and building winners. It's never going to be the perfect game, but you want to limit accidents and everything as much as possible without giving teams that you're supposed to beat life. I was a little nervous at halftime. Panthers gave up two penalties. Not a lot of penalties, but the inopportune time for their penalties to come forward. But that is what it is, right? The Panthers able to recover, rebound, and take care of business. 54 to 21, 20 to 0 on the backside. The Panthers improve their overall record to 4 and 3. No conference game this week, so they are still at 3 and 1. We're going to give you some scores throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We told you about Bethune Cookman victorious over Mississippi Valley by the score of 45 to 35. In other SWAC scores, you had Jackson State victorious over Campbell, and that final was 22 to 14. So Jackson stays undefeated beating their Big South opponent. And what some are going to be scratching their heads on from Lorman, Mississippi at the reservation, the Texas Southern Tigers, the maroon and gray, go in and take care of business. And I do mean took care of business quite well. Went in by the score of 34 to 27. Now, the way all this is tied up, Texas Southern is still alive because of their win over Southern. Prairie View is still alive, but they're going to have to really win out the rest of the season and kind of hope that Jackson wins out the rest of their season because at least when, if Jackson, when Jackson plays 
Southern University. That would give Southern two losses within the conference, only one in the division. Uh, well, no, not even one in the division. Head to head, uh, they would have the inside over Prairie View, but if they have the same records. Prairie View has a better record. Prairie View can take care of business. But it's all here nor there. Prairie View just got the win. And they got to win the next game. And the next game is going to always be the most important game. Panthers had over 300 rushing yards at the half. Over 300 at the half. Full throttle were the Panthers on today. And at our pregame show, I was hell-bent on the Panthers having to score a minimum of 35 points. This had to be a statement game for the Panthers, and the statement was made. 54 to 21. Who you rooting for? P. V. U. Well, it's time to set your homecoming out. The Foon Cookman will be in town. Will you be there to join in? Don't forget, you can listen live to the broadcast. The kickoff is at 2 p.m. We'll have a 1.30 pregame show. All you have to do is dial 857-777-0000. It's nothing much to say, y'all. Panthers took care of business. Like a good team is supposed to when they play a team that's struggling. I am going to exit stage left. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side. Whoa.